Hey, good morning, it's Mr. Brown. As we get into our manufacturing unit, it's gonna be very, very important for you to stay on task, and it's going to be your responsibility for you to stay on task. Now, there's gonna be a lot of assignments coming up, a lot of due dates, um, and a lot of time to get them all done in. Um, so when you look at these deadlines, when you look at the assignments, it, you may think like, hey, I've got all the time in the world to get this done. I'm going to sit and play games for like three weeks and then get it all done on the last day. That's not going to work. All right. You're going to run into a deadline at the very end. So you need to pace yourself out along the way. In order to do that, we're going to create our own project timeline. So in the real world, people use this. They call it a Gantt chart. So G-A-N-N-T a Gantt chart. Uh, you can take a look at some examples online, but it's basically you've got tasks to do, you've got timeline to get it done in, and so you can kind of schedule how long each task is going to take, so it gives you a rough idea of where you should be each day. Um, now, there's plenty of programs that will help you create these. Um, you know, you can download programs. If you get into Google Sheets, uh, Google Sheets has this new timeline feature right here. We're not going to use that. First time you use a tool, it's really a good idea to kind of start from the basics. So you get an understanding of how to do it. So we're going to create this ourselves from Google Sheets. All right. We're not going to use any built-in tools other than what Sheets regularly gives us. So Google Sheets uh, is your spreadsheet. Um, Microsoft Excel, same thing. Um, so either one of those, but Google Sheets is what we seem to be working with. All right. Uh, so before we get going there, just some stuff to be aware of. So this create a project timeline. All right, so you can take a look at this. Now I am recording this in October 2023, the fall 2023 semester. If we're doing this in the future, these dates might be different. So I'm just, so just be aware of that. Whatever dates are going to be listed on Schoology or whatever we're using at the time is what you should go with. These are the dates I'm going to use for right now. Um, so you can see we're going to have 11 tasks that we need to complete. We need to complete the first section by November 28th. We need to complete the second section by January 5th. Now that sounds like a far way away. January 5th is over two months away. But taking a look at our calendar here. All right. So if I look at my calendar, in that time, we've got Thanksgiving break, we've got winter break. So that is almost three quarters of a month off right there. You've got weekends there, you've got blue and white days, even in odd days. So we're going to have to deal with all that, figure all that out. All right. So let's start off and make a blank spreadsheet. All right. So just go to open up a new window, hit the little dots up in the top, and let's click on Sheets right there. All right, so there, Sheets, and let's start that. All right, and hit blank to start a blank spreadsheet. 